North to the home of the raw city of champions, Brisbane. <laughs> She's at Thank one of the you. city's most popular watering holes, the Norman B. Hey, Luce, how's it going up there? Is Bris Vegas missing its favourite goalkeeper? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Bris Vegas absolutely isn't missing its favourite goalkeeper, but I tell you what is going on here a lot at the Norma B pub up here in Brisbane. We are so excited to be coming to you live from this fantastic venue. Plenty of stuff coming on on the show, including an A-League and a W-League special guest coming to join us and chat to us a little bit later on. But, guys, I'm going to throw it back to you in the studio because I'm going to head back with my guys back here and have a beer or two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take it easy. Lucy. Getting on it. Hi there, guys. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to Brisbane here. Now, a lot of talk about the Ashes and the cricket, but forget about the cricket because it is all about the football. Of course, tomorrow night, the most highly anticipated match of the season, and that is the Brisbane Raw taking on the Western Sydney Wanderers. Beside me here, I'm joined by none other than Liam Miller of the Brisbane Law. Liam, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, of course, you're not playing in tomorrow night's fixture, and that's because of your injury. How have you been coming along? Yeah, it's been, uh, that'll be four weeks tomorrow. I've been out, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe a week or two more, and I should be ready to join in again with the lads. So things are progressing nicely. Mm, and, and you can tell us a little bit about the injury. It was actually a calf injury that happened in the game against the Melbourne Victory, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, I tore my calf in uh, the Victory game. Um, I think it's standard four to six weeks. I'm hoping, obviously, to get back as quick as I can. So just working, uh, doing a bit of rehab with the physio, trying to get back. Mm. Now, speaking of injuries, obviously the Brisbane Raw have sustained quite a few this season, but have still managed to be one of the competition's most informed and best teams that we've seen so far. Uh, tell us, um, you know, can we expect anything differently now that you're going to have almost a full strength squad coming into the side tomorrow? Yeah, well, I definitely think it's a great headache for the manager to have a full squad, a near full squad to pick from. Um, I think, you know, obviously having players competing for places brings out the best in the players and obviously it's a nice headache for the manager to have a, to pick from as well. So obviously the lads coming back from international duty will uh, hopefully strengthen the squad as well and uh, hopefully we can get the job done tomorrow night. Mm. Speaking of headaches, I'm sure you must have kind of picked up a couple from being in the dressing rooms of Manchester United to the Perth Glory and now at the Brisbane Raw. Is there anyone in the side that's a, a, an, a special character behind the scenes? Uh, yeah, there's one or two characters flown around, to be fair. Uh, probably for me, uh, Ivan Franich should be the one that uh, he just seems to get uh, so upset with the littlest of things. And he's kind of easy to wind up with the lads. So, yeah, <laughs> Chich, Chich probably gets it for me. <laughs> and uh, finally now, looking more, obviously, ahead to the game tomorrow night. Now, is it business as usual for the Raw? Because coming into a game like this, obviously, the Western Sydney Wanderers are unlucky for the Raw to, to concede that loss last week against the Jets in, in some pretty terrible conditions. But um, do the preparations change coming into a game like this? Oh, I don't think so, obviously. I think the boys uh, haven't watched them. They've trained very well this week. Look very sharp, but at the same time, you know, uh, Western Sydney, they're a very good team. They're very well organised. Um, again, you know, it's about us uh, on our home patch and uh, concentrating on uh, bringing our A game, really, you know, and uh, bringing the game to them, really. Mm. And how have you enjoyed being in the A League so far, obviously, because we know that you come from Ireland, but um, is Australia home for you now, Liam? Uh, <laughs> each day I'm growing fonder and fonder, I have to say. So, yeah, I'm enjoying my football here and uh, obviously. Loving life here, uh, delighted to be at Brisbane. So, uh, yeah, I have to say, uh, overall, I'm really happy I made the decision to come over. And I'm sure the Brisbane Royal fans are delighted to have you, Liam Miller. All the best for the game tomorrow against the Western Sydney Wanderers. And thank you so much for joining us. But for now, it's back to Dave in the studio, who's going to have a very special guest talk about the latest controversies in football, women's football. That is right, Lucy. It really has been a fascinating week in women's football. And it is... Hi guys, welcome back to the Norma Beer in Brisbane. Here I'm joined by a very special guest. Now, not only was she announced this year as the UEFA European Women's Footballer of the Year, but she's also the outstanding goalkeeper for the Raw, and that is Nadine Ungerer. Did I pronounce that well enough? Perfectly. Perfect. Now, I've heard a little rumour about you, Nadine. It's that you've been training with the A-League boys, but last week you didn't train with them and that's when they lost. Are you their lucky child? <laughs> this must be the reason. 
reason. Yeah. That, that must be the absolute reason. But um, talk to us a little bit. Fans have been tweeting me left, right and centre wanting to find out when you're coming back to play because you came off with a bit of a, a niggling injury. Are you going to be fit for the Wanderers next week? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm on a very good way. So. Yeah, you're, you're on a very good way? Yeah. Good, good. And of course now, we know that you've been with the W League for quite, you know, since the season started. But after the league finishes in February, you're off to the US. You're quite the jet setter. Yeah, right. I, I played 12 years in Europe and uh, I was searching for a new challenge and now I'm very happy to be here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then uh, I continue and go to the US. Mm, and uh, how have you found the A-League as well in competition standards with the, sorry, with the W-League? I love it and uh, I made a lot of uh, decisions this year and to come to Brisbane was one of my best decisions. Mm, yeah. mm. And what do you love so much about the club? The club, uh, the, the club is fantastic, it's quite familiar. And uh, yeah, the, 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 the girls, my teammates, made it very easily for me to feel like at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very nice to have the option to, to pra practice together, train mm. together with Theo and Maddie, the mm. goalkeepers from the men's team. So it's perfect. Mm. And what about the standard of football as well? So coming from Frankfurt and now into the W League, is there a big difference? No, there is difference with their other styles. Uh, um, but who cares? I, that's why I came here to get uh, to know and other styles and uh, yeah, I'm happy. Mm, and the Brisbane Raw are certainly very happy to have you here along with the rest of the fans here at the Normanby. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for joining me, Nadine. It was a pleasure to have you on. Yeah. Don't see what her tips are for this week. Hey, thanks for going to Brisbane, by the way. Thanks to everyone who came out to the Normanby. Good luck to the Raw tomorrow night. Lucy, what's your tips? Here are my tips, guys. So I'm picking the Brisbane Raw and the Wanderers is going to be a draw. It's too hard. I cannot pick this. Yeah, they don't like it here at the Normanby. They don't like it. I'm picking Sydney and the victory, and Perth and Central Coast, I'm going to say it's a draw, but of course the Jets, I think there are too many unbroken hearts out there, and the Jets are going to take that win. I want to say a massive thank you to the Normanby for having us, some of the best football fans in the country for coming along here tonight. In the <laughs> looking very forward to the fixture tomorrow, guys, back to you in the studio. Yeah. What do you reckon, Jets?